Hello, my name is Pastor Joe Azapardi and I'm filming from my home in Brisbane, Australia. I'm an associate pastor of the Springwood Adventist Church. Thanks for journeying with me today as we explore the blessings on the Mount. It's a weekday devotional looking at the Sermon on the Mount. It takes place in Matthew chapter 5 through to chapter 7. Now yesterday we looked at the first beatitude given by Jesus, which was, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Today we're looking at the second one in Matthew 5, verse 4. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Now the word blessed in Greek actually comes from the word happy. And so it seems quite ironic that it actually translates as happy are those who mourn. How can one be happy if you are mourning? It's very important in life, especially when looking at the Bible, to look at context. Just in a breath before this verse, Jesus had said, Blessed are those who are poor in spirit, which meant those who are begging spiritually. They are begging to be connected with God. They feel like they don't have all the answers, and they're asking God to come into their life and help them to be connected to Him. Right after that, Jesus said, Blessed are those who mourn. You see, if we are seeking to be connected with God, if we're seeking to have God fill us with His Spirit, we're going to notice and mourn the fact that we live in a sinful world. Have you ever felt grieved over how sin impacts the world around you? When I watch news reports, or even if I look at my Facebook feed, it's easy to feel depressed just thinking about the state of our planet Earth. Whether it's thinking about those who are dying, those who are saying hurtful things to other people, uh, perhaps it's the corruption that you see in, in the political sphere, perhaps it's just the epidemic that's taking place that's keeping us in our homes. When I think about all these things as a Christian, it makes me yearn for God's presence even more. I just want Him to come and fix the mess that we humans have created. The good news is that just as Jesus said, blessed are those who mourn, they shall be comforted. Comfort is on the way. Our desperate plea for God to connect with us and spiritually fill us will lead to us mourning the state of affairs that the world is in. in. But we will be comforted. One day, Jesus will return to earth for his children, and he will wipe away every tear. He will heal every wound. He will raise up those who died and had a yearning for God's ways. And although the news reports are grim, one day we will be comforted. My challenge question for you today is, when you are grieved by the sinfulness of this world, when you see bad things take place, what do you do with that grief? Do you push it down and, and ignore it? I know I find myself tempted all the time to do that. Do you try to fix it? Do you talk to God about it? Now, it's not good for us to ignore our emotions. We know in psychology that it's dangerous to actually suppress emotions. And as to fixing things, we can't force people or, or change people so that they do the right thing. We can't control other people. And we certainly as individuals can't control this world and the state that it's in. But one thing that we can do is we can always turn to God's Word. We can talk to Him through prayer about how we are feeling, and we can also try to find godly people to talk to about it. I want to emphasize godly people, people who are going to be empathetic, who are going to listen to what you have to say, and who are going to acknowledge that what you said is valid. If you feel like all this stuff depresses you, I want you to take heart, because people like King David in the Bible, Moses, the prophet Elijah, and Jeremiah, and Jesus himself struggled with the sinfulness of this world. 
It's actually a sign that Jesus is working in your heart when you feel these things, and it's likely that He's prompting you to get closer to Him and also to become the change that you want to see in the world. What can you do as an individual to be God's light? Comfort is on the way. Can I pray with you? Father in heaven, I want to thank you for those who are listening to this. I want to thank you for their friends and their family, and I want to ask that you would comfort them and encourage them when they feel the heaviness of the world come upon them. When they see the tragedies that take place, whether in their own family or in the world, I ask that you would please be close to them. Help them to be able to have social networks that they can talk to people and get comfort and good advice and counsel from people. I ask that you would guide them, help us all to be the people that you want us to be. In Jesus' name, amen. Thanks for joining me today. Tomorrow we're going to be looking at verse 5. Blessed are the gentle, for they shall inherit the earth. Thank you very much, and God bless.